When I sat down to write this with JP, who's one of our amazing guys on our crew, I told him, I said, I want to write this song about how I'm just really hungry for the more of God. And at the same time, I feel like I'm constantly in over my head, but I think that's where he wants me to be. You know, in the first part of the verse, I just was trying to describe that I'm really thankful, I'm really happy, I'm very content, but I'm also very hungry. On the second verse, it, it starts to talk about further and further my heart moves away from the shore. And to me, that is, is definitely the Lord pulling me into uncomfortable things and the things of listening to His voice and obeying it no matter what it looks like, no matter what the outcome is, whether the outcome is what I thought it would be or not, just really that listening to His voice and following Him no matter what. And that's a constant journey for my life. So the chorus is, then you crash over me, I've lost control, but I'm free. And to me, that's the under the wave moment of you can't do anything, but yet it's the most freeing thing in the world because you can't do anything. You can't make it happen. You can't help yourself. You can't fix anything. You just have to let go. I'm going under. I'm in over my head. And I think sometimes it gets this place where you're like, I'm trying to get it together, but I just feel out of control in my life. And God's like, it's way more fun when you don't. <laughs> it's way easier on your life to just let go and go under and let me take care of it. I think it's a negative connotation that I've lived in with, I'm in over my head, I'm in over my head. The Lord in this song flips the context to go, no, 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 that's where I want you. I want you to dream bigger. I want you to not be in control. I want you to believe me for things that you can't see, things that don't make sense. I want you in over your head because that's how I created you to be.